Hey everybody, it's Bart and Stacy, and we are off on our two day weekend road trip to the casino. Yay, Yay. we did this gig <laughs> last year, and we'll link to that video again. But if you recall, we, we use the house system, we integrate our, our trusty rack mixer with their front of house system. They got the JBL rig there. I confirmed with the house tech that nothing has changed. But for us, besides the limited gear, we are bringing one more item this year, and that is our cooler. <laughs> Packed with food. food. Yeah, we learned last year that the food just didn't make it for us. And we're not super picky, but yes, uh, I'll leave that. If for anybody that's been to this casino, tell us what we're missing, but we came prepared with our own. Anyway, I talked to the house guy and Nothing has changed from last year, so we're expecting pretty much the same drill. Should be easier for us since we've been there. Yay. Stacy's gonna be running some lights. I'm gonna be out with the iPad out front listening to the slot machines <laughs> and the band at the same time. We're gonna keep our 90 dB limit, all the rules. We're gonna follow all the rules. So guys, it should be a great weekend. We'll keep you posted of everything going on and we'll see you shortly at the gig. A couple have arrived. We stopped in the club, we dropped off our stage gear. Now we've stopping in the hotel room. And Stacy, what's the most important thing? We Besides the little red wagon, which I kind of <laughs> oh. laughed at, but this Save is such a long... Total lifesaver. Not only does it haul gear, it hauled all our room stuff because they put us down in the furthest room possible <laughs> away. So it's really a long walk. So the card has helped out. But what do we got? We got some Rice crispy <laughs> bars. Yep. Oh boy. Rice Krispies. I hope you're going to offer that up to some of the guys because uh, that's maybe. way too much. <laughs> um, we got some croissants. croissants. We got some chips. Gorp. Some Gorp, yeah, mix. Right? Chi yep. Some chips. chips. But more importantly, well, we got some good Bart, stuff. Bart too. likes to be paid in Cheetos. Okay. But we got our <laughs> fridge over here. We got stuff in the fridge. We got some fruit, we got wraps, fruit, wraps. grapes, sushi. sushi, but you know, all joking aside, everyone, the food is important. And last year we just, it was a little bit of a struggle. And when we're off for a weekend, you want to be as comfortable as you po possibly can. And so bringing our food is our way of knowing we'll be at least comforted yeah. in that. And the room is, is comfortable here too, as well. But, uh, and the fact that, I mean, the bigger, the next town is about half an hour away so yeah to eat out and we did eat dinner at a restaurant before we got here so we should be good for the rest of the night we're gonna head down back to the club here in just a few minutes get the stage wired up with all the gear we got <laughs> <laughs> which isn't a whole lot that fit in there <laughs> that all fit in here pretty much so we'll see you back at the club where is it i don't know maybe where is I your brain maybe i left it at hers Next number is B9. So what happens if more than one person gets split it? Set it first. I just want to see a flip. You don't have this card here this year. I don't There's multiple bingos, so we need to wait until all bingos are verified, and I'll tell you guys in the mouth. I will. Okay. Figure it
sound engineer? Yeah. Yep. Uh, so who I talked to about who's running the lights with it? Stacy. Yeah. 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 All right. So you know Um. So today we got the board hooked up to where. Where is that? Oh, wait a minute. This thing here. Plugging fully and ready to go. Okay. But um, the other end of it plugs in down there. That's where the lighting control is. Okay. So yeah, all you do is light so we do down there. Yeah. 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 Um, so. Yeah. Last year she was up here, but you didn't. I, it it was set up to. But yeah, she can. It's your call. I mean, do you have an option? To, does she have the option to be up here. Um, I get probably got it set up up here. Um, the way my boss thought it was, thought I, he said that I would probably be running lights. I didn't know you guys. Were running well, lights. or you can run, you can run lights as well. <laughs> okay. I mean, we're just we we just so you know we did advance the show. Yeah. Okay. And with Kelly, and said everything was the same as last year, so we. So, okay. But I'm just. All right. Nobody well, said there would be somebody here. Running lights, okay. Yeah, point. that that's fine. Here, I'll show you where it's at right now. Um, and then um, it's are you uh question then for you also just I, I can get it set up up here though. okay it's your call wherever you want to be um, to, to get into your system last year there was a Y cord or something here to get our mixer in but I don't see the Y cable okay um, um, can that, we unplug the bingo and just go excellent. in or um, that would be a Kelly question okay that would be a Kelly question I'll call him up right now it's not a hurry but just notice that it seemed to me that we would just uh, pull pull that. Well, actually, we can. All right. Yeah, we need we need to. No, not at all. Bart. Yes, sir. What did I do now, Gordy? Just wondering how you're doing. I'm just curious. I'm a curious person. How am I doing? I am. Um, yeah. I'm okay. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, Bart. What? You got an extra microphone? Probably. Uh, I forgot mine. I do. Uh, actually, I, I got one here, but uh, if you got a, a 58. I think you don't want to use the backup mic. I know I don't want to use the backup mic. Here, hold on. I think I have my Sennheiser too. From Wednesday. With my acoustics. What else? Did I throw it in here like a good boy? I'm waiting for some turnarounds to. Oh, you can't hear me. I'm not plugged into their system right, yet. What about, so. what about this? Yes. Sound couple. Sound yes. couple. Yes. Sound couple. Yes. Sound yes. Couple. Yes. Sound yes. couple. Yes. Sound couple does everything. Center the banner. Uh, and we see Gordy's. <laughs> crap. Crap. Yes. Yes. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> 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 Score for being the Boy Scout. Yeah, carry your turnarounds. That's how we're getting into the system. I don't know. He was going to get some. I kind of, I don't, it's good to have adapters and connectors. And I had them. So I'm just going to use ours. And we're trying to get going here a little bit. And he, he might be, he might be having a hard time locating them. But we got them. I just, I have a jacket and sweatshirt. I wouldn't like right. cheese. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry, couple, sorry. You're going to be edited out anyway. So <laughs> they don't, uh, they're not going to pay. They don't license. Uh oh. Things. I don't have it. Okay. All right, Bart, how's it going? All right, Stacy. we are down with set one of the first night of the big weekend. And 
I think this is a sound couple first in quite a while, <laughs> where we started late and we were teaming with the house guys here and we were having some issues. And the bottom line is we couldn't get the mains out of our mixer to work. And I'll just leave it at that. They worked with us and then we had to move the lighting around. So we worked it out, it happens. And uh, Stace, come on over here. So what we ended up doing, what we're doing is this is our mains out of our mixer and we're running into the channel on their TF console. But we originally were, is this my phone nope, right here? No, um, it's not. Running out of their main outs here on theirs and it wasn't working and I am like technically challenged right now. I don't know why it's not working. In fact, I think tomorrow, Stacy, what we'll do is we'll show you a video, but the, the big lesson here is we just kept working through it. Everybody kept their cool. The band was patient and it's going to happen and we're good now. So I think we're enjoying the rest of the weekend now, right? Yep. Okay. And remember too, the lights. I mean, we couldn't get the oh, lights going. And then going. we had to move the lights back and forth. Right. But then we could and we couldn't get them up and going. It and just... then we couldn't get them up and going. So all there was four of us working on getting this show up. And, and in the end, you know what the fix was? What? Power cycle power cycle yeah <laughs> things don't work power cycle and then make sure the main amps are on <laughs> calmer environment <laughs> it's the afternoon of our second day and last night i think we mentioned i haven't gone back and reviewed everything but we started about a half hour late part of the big reason was is we couldn't get our rack mixer patched into to the system as we were expecting we were thinking there were going to be y cables and there wasn't this year these are ours and stacy i'm going to be honest i am confused I am really confused about how they wanted us to, to patch in. Okay, so here's the, the Yamaha stage box right here. What we ended up doing last night, and this makes sense to me, is that we ended up going into two channels on their TF console, on the stage box here. So channels one and two, and here's their outputs right here to the, and, and these are going to the main somehow. What doesn't make sense to me is that if we plug our main outputs into here, there's, there's, it's dead. There's no mains. And if we put turnarounds on these, which we tried, and that's what they told us to do. And I'm thinking, well, wait a second. These are outputs. These are outputs. So we're going output to output. That didn't make any sense to me either, but I am really just flat out confused about what the hell is going on here and, and why this was such a cluster last night trying to get this to work. Like I said, the current setup makes sense, but what we're going to try to do is duplicate how it was set up for us last year where they had a Y cable. So this, this is our cable right here. And the only thing I can think of 
is that we need to complete the circuit between the outputs here and this snake here. And we don't know where this goes. It's, it's going somewhere <laughs> into the system. So we're gonna try just setting it up. We actually reviewed the video from last year. And that's the only thing. And I think regardless of what we what the results are here, we're gonna put things back and just run it the way we did last night. It worked fine. It just requires their board out front, the Yamaha TF to be on, which I don't have a problem with. It sounded good. Actually, I had more headroom this year than I did last year, but it's just driving me crazy about why this turned into such a, uh, I, <laughs> Yeah, what did it mayhem. turn? Mayhem. Yep. Yes, it's, mayhem last night. It's the main. The band started over a half hour late. Uh, it didn't help that their, so their amps weren't on. The amps got hit off for some reason, which they always leave on. And we we're having lighting issues, and then we were having this issue. So it wasn't a great start to the to the night. But all right, so we're gonna try this and see what happens. Okay, we got our Y cable here. And we're going to try to duplicate how this was set up last year, which worked just fine. And let's test it, Stacy. So we have the we have signal running. We got some music playing through our mixer. We're going to take. We're only going to work on one side because if this side works, the other the other one should as well. So we'll go to the right side. We're going to pull. We're going to pull this guy out. Plug it in, right? And we're gonna take one side of the female and plug that in here. We're gonna pull our main out of the rack, Presonus rack mixer and plug that in. So this is my theory. This is what we did last year. So let's head over to the house, front of the house speaker and see if we got sound. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. <laughs> you follow me. I'm not following you. <laughs> okay. We got a little bit more noise in here now, but I'm going to turn it up. Lo and behold, it's working. The, the main speaker's yep. up there, Stacey. Yep. Or, yep. Well, I was Trust hearing, me, it's working. I was hearing it before, though, down here. That's okay. All. It's working. Okay. So that explains... That explains, I guess... It puts us back to where we were last year. And at least I know it's working. I still don't know why it's working. In the sense that I'm not sure why I'm not sure why not just plugging directly our main outs right into this guy right here so if we plug if we go like this there's no audio but if we include this guy in the chain we have audio anybody have any ideas what's going on <laughs> I'm going to put it back to where it's working, but at least I know we are not crazy in a sense that we were expecting the same, we were expecting easy the same easy hookup, yeah. let's rock and roll, and it turned into <laughs> well, over an hour because we were waiting yeah. for the house guys to come back. They They kind of disappeared on us for a while, and we wanted to do a sound check. We didn't do any sound check. We just started up right on the fly, and I wasn't sure besides running some a little bit of music through it i wasn't sure what really was gonna what we were expecting but it it as normal it we got them going up and up and going quickly all right mystery solved well hey for you guys that have been following us you know we work with the band rhino a lot and you've heard some of the recordings you've said hey that sounds good so we wanted to give you a tour of their stage gear and so you can see what they're using and there are a lot of variables into good sound uh the quality of the the instruments and the musicians and everything it, but you know it does start with the gear as well so let's let's show you what 
what everybody's using. So as you know, this band is now completely in-ear and there are no amps on stage. The only thing that's acoustic on stage is obviously the drum set here. Um, the band all is responsible for their own stage equipment. So their amplification or, or their lines, I should say, there is no amplification. They bring their microphones, their own microphones. We supply the mic stands and they res also are responsible. Each band member runs their own cables. So this is the bass player over here. He brings his microphone. He brings his XLR cable for his vocal and his bass. So as long as we're here, Stace, let's start with the bass rig. I'm not super familiar with a lot of this gear, guys, but I'm sure there are a few that are. And he's using a Fractal Audio Systems for his bass. And that's about all I know about it, but it sounds it sounds good. And Gordy's got a couple Music Man Stingrays here, great guitars, nothing wrong with those. And he's got a Sennheiser microphone I'll pause on that, or I'll save a comment here in a little bit um, on that. Moving over to guitar. Eric's using the Helix effects pedal, or effects system, I should say, guitar system. And then we also have the harmonica that you see in some of the songs. And he's, more recently, he's using a Sans amp, and I think this is just a temporary temporary solution his old old one broke actually at a gig that we were at so I think this is just for now and then the lead singer is using a Sennheiser wireless G4 I'll save my comments on the Sennheiser moving back to the drums the drummer he supplies all the mics for other bands that we're running production for, we will supply the mics, but in this case, they're supplying the mic. And it's a combination of pretty much all Onyx. There's D6 on the floor toms, D6 on the kick drum, D4 on the sub, and a... Did I say D4 on the yes. top? Once again, and then a 57 on the snare. And then Rode, a Rode microphone for overhead and hi-hat. And then for his vocal, he's using an EV. I don't know, this to me looks like a 967, but it's not, it's whatever the EV is. It's a ND96. Um, then, for tracks, he's got the MacBook Pro, and then he uses this as a trigger. I'm not sure how that works, but it's for the count off, so he'll hit it, and that'll count off the song. So moving over, oh, this is the bass player's in-ear system, too, as well. He's got a Sennheiser in-ear. And can I comment on the extra tom for this particular gig? Because usually he only has one of the floor toms he uh, he's, yeah he's back and forth yep because of the two-day gig multi-gig he said hey a it up. right here this is this isn't what we do but it works um we just have a drum whip all in one okay then coming on over here Of course, a Fender Telecaster can't go wrong with that ever. This is their monitor rig right here. We've shown this a few times before, but at the core of this system is a Personas RM32 with the uh, ART S8 splitters. So they do an analog split. There's a 30 foot whip right here that we're running into our 3216 stage box. We'll show you that in a minute. They're all wireless. They, they're using the Shure PSM 300s, which I'm a big fan of. And then the, the lead singer's uh, G4, the Sennheiser, is, is mounted in here as well. They have a little rack, or I'm sorry, a little drawer here for batteries and extra supplies. What else, 
Stacy, is there anything else I'm missing? Uh, but, but, but. <sighs> All right. I don't really get too controversial or opinionated about gear because there's a lot of good gear out here, out there. Not a huge fan. In fact, we did a gear, we did a gig uh, where we used our mics, which are the Beta 58s. And these aren't terrible. And it seems like a thing with all Sennheiser mics where they just, they're very, they just lose the body. And they're very, they're a lot more shrill than, than the Shure mics are. And that's a fact. And it's a preference perhaps, but to me, th these do not reproduce. And it's wired or wireless, anything Sennheiser. Big fan of their drum mics, not so much of their vocal mics. I can see why people like them because they, they have that cut. But to me for, for re reproducing true sound out front, they just go over the top. I know they're popular. I know a lot of people use them just not the mic I would choose. I would rather much have him be on a 58 or a beta 58 uh, for that warmth that is just not, not that's just missing. So that's my opinion on Sennheiser vocal mics. So after just ripping on Sennheiser <laughs> mics, compliment or vocal mics, complimenting them on their drum mics, I will compliment them on this headphone system as well. I love these things. I don't even know the brand of them. I mean, I know they're Sennheiser, but I don't know the model. And I've had these now for quite a few years and they're awesome. They, they do a really good job of isolation. I think they're meant for like live in the living room type listening. Well, and also you were way out there. And they were working. Yeah. But they do really require, if you got good line of sight, these will go a ways. If they're if the view is obstructed, that's when they have problems. Well, we'll take this opportunity then to kind of just talk a little bit more about our gear. So you guys have seen this guy right here, our Sonus 32R rack mixer. We got our Furman power conditioning, our now Sonic Stage Router Pro. And, and you'll notice there are not there's nothing there because we're running all the inputs stage buys and we'll debut our personas 32 by 16 stage box so their uh analog snake comes back comes out of here out of the back their rack mixer and we're plugging in to our stage box and we're running cat 5 back to our 32r this works great and we're just using the main left and right outputs out of our mixer. Um, I think that's about it, Stacy. And if I'm not mistaken, I think too, the reason why it's really nice using the 32 one compared to our 16 NSB, right? That, how many channels do they usually run? Well, 16 in this oh. case, so we could have oh. gotten by. But what's really nice is if we need, if these need to get, these are a little bit more protected. And we also got a power strip in here and, and it's always nice to have extra power. But the, the, big, the big thing with these is just having the, it's not so much, we didn't get them so much for the channel count, it's more about the outputs. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, we could, when we're running a full monitor show with mains, it's nice having the extra outputs that we can assign for other for other things. So when we have center fills, we're running full monitors, we got wings sometimes. This gives us complete expandability with that, or gives us complete options. The sound couple heading out to the gig. <laughs> Stacy eating a Rice Krispie bar, pulling our little red wagon. It's so glamorous, isn't it? It's convenient. No, the life. Oh. <laughs> well, that's your dinner then, right? Yeah, I guess. So. Okay. I'm on it. Still levitated, I'm heavily medicated. Ironic, I gave them love and they end up hating on me. She told me she'd love me and she's waiting.
fight them for your loving. I'm running, then I'm a patient. Needed someone to hug you, took me back to the basics. See what you got me out here doing. Might have threw me off again, nobody stop the movement. Uh oh, let's go. Left foot, right foot, levitating. Pop stars, do a leap with the baby. I had to lace my shoes for all the blessings I was chasing. Forever ever slip a ball into a better situation. So catch up, put some cheese on a kid out and get your bread up. They got sleep, we can fall, we can run together. Whatever the world on my shoulders and get my head up. Baby, stand up. And I'm not going to do that tonight. Not, they can pay for the magic. There's going to be no magic tonight. Except for right now, Gordy, are you ready to perform a little magic? If you would, find your mark. It's a little bit forward. Move up, move up, move up, move up, move up right there. Eric, at the same time, find your mark. Move up just a little bit. To your left just a little bit. A one, two. One, two, three, and slide, 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 and slide, 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 and slide, 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 slide. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Gordy Nelson on the bass guitar. Again, funky. officially ready to go home. <laughs> God bless it. Yeah. Anyway, guess what we ended up doing? We ended up going back to the Y cable because we couldn't get what we had working last night working tonight. So, so, so. Guys, this is kind of the challenge with you're dealing with interfacing systems and it, it gets, it, tonight was again just another stressful night. It shouldn't have been like it was. And we're trying to work together. I'm glad we were here this afternoon and got this, but I'm just, 
Hey, the Persona stuff, man, it's got a lot of headroom because I'm just banging on this console to get the sound out that I want. Because uh, we got these cables that are cutting down the signal. It's, I like working our system, bottom line. This whole trying to interface, yeah, learn the TF console, learn this console, whatever. It's not gonna happen. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, we'll see if we're back here again. And we'll do a recap of the weekend here coming up tomorrow, guys. Good morning, everybody. It is Bart and Stacy, and we are on our way home. I'm gonna start out positive, okay? Because I think this, the tone so far has kind of been negative. The pot of the weekend. The positive is the show went well, and then last night especially, they did a really good job with the Halloween costume. I, I actually smiled, it was kind of fun. It was 45 minutes, it went really quickly. <laughs> Much more the, the, the costume contest that yeah. is. So they, the weekend in that sense was, was good. The band played well, we were distracted. Obviously we didn't get off to a great start on Friday and we didn't get off to a great start on Saturday. You saw in the video earlier or in the section earlier that Stacy and I went in the afternoon and we we recreated how it was patched last weekend or last, last year, year when we were there and it's a good thing we did because when we came back we put everything back to the way it was for friday we could not get any signal to go to their board out front which we were patched into the guy that was there from the casino the, their house guy was not experienced enough with the with the console to understand and we, I did some troubleshooting, but it was clear that something got changed somewhere because we weren't able to get any signal. I even grabbed a microphone in a XLR and I was putting it in the channels. I should have had put some signal out to the front and we didn't get it. I just ended up telling the guy, it's like, you guys can look at this if you if you're able to get signal going with your equipment then you can just tell tell us that that guy from rhino uh their their house guy didn't know it or their sound guy doesn't know anything he doesn't know what he's talking about and isn't this stacy's uh <laughs> I, I know. wow oh, okay on. all right well you're <laughs> okay well i think we're in a hurry to get home to get the dog but anyway, the, the, the big thing is just an example of anytime you're dealing with gear that's un, that you're not familiar with, it's you, you, you really kind of count on the people there to, to, from a technical perspective, to help guide us through it. But I was truthfully on my own last night to get yeah, this what, what, to get this to go in a configuration that the, they support. So it's not like we were bringing in and doing something that nobody else does, but it, again, it, it just shows you that it doesn't take much to be on your own and under the gun to make it happen. And I was under that pressure, not only Friday night, Saturday night as well. With that, everybody, this is the sound couple. We're gonna get home safely, and we will see you at the next gig, and thanks for watching.